Hey everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Reboots His RimWorld Colony. This is the first video that we're recording on the new Alpha, Alpha 15 that was just released uh, for RimWorld uh, in my timeline a few days ago. For you guys, probably a little bit more than a week ago. But uh, I wanted to get our old backlog episodes out and watch the downfall of the Big Brother house before we started another one. I'm not going to belabor the point here. Uh, Alpha 15 has added some stuff. It's added some quality of life improvements that we'll see as we play. It's also added deep drilling. At the end of the tech tree, you can unlock something called deep drilling, which allows you to find underground resource clusters that you can then mine. Uh, and I'll worry more about that if I actually get to the end of the tech tree. And then the other big thing is they've added drugs. So there's a variety of different drugs uh, that give you bonuses towards joy for recreation or even combat bonuses or productivity bonuses, etc, etc. And then they come with varying degrees of addictiveness and they can also, you can detox from them or etc, etc. Which I'm sure we'll probably see before we get to deep drilling. Um, but in any case, uh, we're going to get started here. The full change log can be found uh, on Steam. We're going to start up a new colony with the things I've learned. We're going to go crash landed, the, the default style. And we're going to take, uh, this is new, learning helper. We're going to take Cassandra Classic on rough. And then we're going to, sure, the seat is fine. Um, we're going to pick our colonists right after we pick our world here. Somebody said that we should select uh, an area that's closer to uh, mountains. Because it's a little bit more interesting. And I agree, we can actually use those mountains uh, defensively. To be honest with you, it doesn't matter too much. Oh my god, what? There's a faction base over here? I guess they are pirates, so sailing shouldn't be a problem. Um, I think we should put ourselves like easterly here. Sixth of spring to the sixth of fall. Terrain is mountainous. It's a temperate forest. Sure. Average winter temperature seems good. Average summer temperature seem seems fine. Rainfall is maybe a little high, but but I'll live with it. This is roughly right here. Select the site. Okay, so this is the big thing. We're going to get our colonists going here. I would like to have no colonists incapable of dumb. I would like to have a colonist who has a growing stat over 8, and I'd like to have maybe one decent at construction. So let's, let's see if we've got anybody sorting that out right off the bat. Okay, so Sally the Taxonomist cannot attack, which I think is real dangerous. She's incapable of violent. Too smart. What is the problem with too smart? Oh, her mental break threshold is higher, which might... I mean, that seems good. I guess ex eccentricity means that maybe she's not going to get along with people as well. Jogger. Move speed is high. Honestly, I think that she's acceptable. Seven is decent for being a doctor. Okay at research. Very bad at construction, but good at growing. Good enough that we can grow medicine right off the bat. So, let's start over again here, and we're going to have some new colonists. We're going to start with Kate... We're gonna we're gonna call her Lovely Momo because that's her YouTube and Twitch name, and it's good from a branding standpoint. Lovely Mom is the only thing that can fit there. Okay, Kate Momo. We'll turn out. Luckily, my name's not long enough. Okay, then we want somebody who's great at shooting, but I'd like them to be a little bit more well-rounded than um, than Speedy here. Whole body a psychite addiction. Let's ignore that for now. Okay, so this is Kate's brother. Shooting is good. Construction is is bad though. I don't think we can roll with that. We need okay, this is actually amazing, but with a minor artery blockage, I'm not sure I'm a big fan. Uh but again, we can't have somebody th like our criteria right now, we need someone who's decent at attacking, basically, and also construction, ideally. So we're just gonna randomize for a while here. They at least need to be able to attack. Three and two I mean, this is a very well rounded colonist right here. They were a medieval slave, now they're a housemate. It's Kate's mom. They're pretty, they feel limited in their feeble human body, they dream of going bionic. Um, wait, no, it's Kate's dad, sorry. But it's a very well-rounded individual. Even though they kind of suck in a lot of different categories here, they're good at construction, they're decent at cooking. Um, I think that this might be a, a colonist that we'll have here, and I, I really can't make, you know, Kate's dad named myself, that's a little weird. So you know what? Congratulations, the new Mathis Games. Welcome. The Jack of All tra Trades, uh, Master of None. And then, what do we need uh, apart from that? Somebody a little better at shooting or melee would be good. Um, somebody, uh, eh, social is like, okay. Let's just randomize until I see something I like. Oh god, it's Kate's lover. Quinell the Taster. No thank you. Let's not get into that. Carrot, the sheriff. Pretty much incapable of everything. Um, 
Incapable of cooking, incapable of mining. Good at artistic, I, we don't need that immediately. This seems like a great individual right here. Games, the math professor. Um, oh my god, it's a whole family. Mathis and his two children, this is perfect. Uh, good at research, incapable of dumb labor, incapable of scary. Otherwise though, seems pretty good. I think we should roll with this, and you know what? Even though this makes Kate and myself brother and sister, I like, you know, this is just like when we went to E3 together. This is our colony right here. So it'll be NL. And, you know, of course we'll get Dan and Rob and Nick and Austin and Sinvicta and everybody back as we play. But let's, uh, let's get started here. Uh, I will say right off the bat, I look at this colony and I say, we have some problems with attacking. That could be an issue. Uh, but now that I understand how to get turrets up hopefully a little bit faster, that should be good. So we awaken our cryosleep sarcophagi, as always. Now, I do worry about accidentally unleashing an evil force here. So let's just... Ooh, alerts. Alerts at the right edge of the screen tell you about the issues that need your attention. Mark has learned. Anything else? Nothing right now. Um, okay, so let's get everything set up here. Best shooter is going to take our... Best shooter is going to take our rifle, second best shooter is going to take our pistol, and the knife is going to fall to the last remaining individual that's available here. So let's look at characters. I have a one in shooting. Oop, let's just do it at the top. I have a one in shooting. Kate has a zero. Mathis has a three. Mathis will take our rifle, and I will take our gun, and then the knife will just sit there because Kate can't even use it. I don't, I don't even, I mean, she can equip it just to get it off the ground at least. All right, now as far as priorities, let's look at mining stats. Zero, six, and three. So uh, I do want to prioritize our, our work orders, but I'm going to maybe build our house inside of the mountain here for insulation first, which is something that has been uh, suggested to me as a good idea. So and it also saves materials. So I want to have one person get ready to grow almost immediately because we are in the middle of the growing season, and that should be Kate. So I'm going to reprioritize our, our stuff here. Um, Kate's going to prioritize growing. Wait, no. Yeah, Kate's going to prioritize growing. Mathis is going to consider it. But he's primarily going to construct. Just for now. And everybody that can firefight is going to firefight. Can you save these? Oh, copy. I see. And again, you everybody that... You know, can be a patient, should be a patient. You're a seven, you're a six. Yeah, this is fine. We've got actually a, a nice selection of doctors here. So you should be a patient right off the bat. You should prioritize bed rest. And you should prioritize flicking. But apart from that, this seems good so far. Is the mouse pointer on the screen? It is indeed. Thank you, RimWorld. I appreciate it. Um, okay. Uh, and then also, I think that uh, plant cutting... We should prioritize for everybody involved here. Okay, so we need some crops, and then hopefully Mathis doesn't have a zero in mining. He's got a six, and I have a three. We'll mine out, like, a little area where we can then build beds and have, like, the world's worst base that will eventually become a prison. And hopefully we won't uh, aggro any scythers, so let's make a save here. This is going to be hard sa oh, Excuse me. Hard save. Let's say colony two... Save one. Genesis. I don't know. The other saves are out of date. Out of date because it's the old um, alpha. So we'll start with a uh, um, growing order. Hopefully, let's put the uh, put the stuff that we've learned into action here. So let's get some crops growing here. It is going to require some plant cutting. That's okay. So we're going to do eight by eight areas, and one of them is going to be potatoes, which is good. And then we're going to go. Oh. A little slow on the uptake here. Another 8x8 area, or roughly 8x8. This one can be rice. Another 8x8 area. And this one can be corn. And then finally, and luckily, we have the ability to make an 8x8 area and make it heal root. And I'll be the first to tell you that we don't have any cotton, and that's a bad thing, but at the same time, yeah, of course we need colonist beds. Um, we didn't really use cotton properly. I, we made probably like two pieces of clothing over the entire last episode, so, uh, or the entire last colony, so I'm not super concerned about that. I think we should mine 
In fact, we don't need... Let's leave this as, like, a natural barrier. And we'll mine, like... Like, that much for now? And let's just see who does what here. So we're throwing up. I mean, we did just land, so that's sensible. Uh, and we should make... Sorry, we should make mining a higher priority for myself and for Mathis. Just for now. And th this is just to micromanage them, basically... Until we get our actual, like, house equipped here. Okay, stop throwing up all over the ground. This is gonna be... It's gonna have the disadvantage of being... Oh, we got a dog, too. Gus. Dope. We should train him. Like, thusly. Um, it's gonna have the disadvantage, I think, of being a little bit slower than our previous uh, setup of just getting, like, wood buildings built immediately. But at the same time, I think it is a little bit safer. We are in a much better position uh, from a choke point standpoint here. Um, you know, we're in kind of like a, a mountainous sort of... I don't, I wouldn't call it a valley, but I guess we're sort of in a valley. And um, I think that this is going to be very positive for us to, to move onwards with here. We do need, of course, to set, a, uh, to set an area for our dumping zone. Oh, dude, we should have just built right there. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Um... We should, uh, we should build a dumping zone. And I don't know where I want that, but I want that far away from my base. That was one of the, like, huge mistakes we made last time. So, let's just put our dumping zone, like, here for now. And it is a long walk from the base, but I think that's okay. Kate's doing some good stuff on the growing here. She does have to cut plants. Is she able to cut plants? Yes, okay. And she's harvesting some raspberries, which is important as well. We're gonna sleep on the ground tonight. You know, life goes on. This is gonna be an ugly, ugly room, but this is just until we get our actual, uh... Our beds made. You know what? I suppose we could also grow another area. Um... Like, we could grow out an 8x8 area. And make it, like... Like, psychoid, for example. Or smoke leaf. Let's look at this. A leafy plant cultivated for its psychological effects. Smoke leaf leaves can be prepared into joints at the crafting spot. Harvestable, limited lifespan. Um, you need a four to grow it. It gives you very little nutrition. Uh, for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this zone. But I think that this we we might as well, even if it seems somewhat suboptimal, I think we might as well engage with this new. Uh, Drug system and see how it works. So yeah, we're sleeping on the ground for night or for tonight. I should say that's okay I don't think this is indicative of us having a worse start than we previously had. Oh dope We are starting with wood walls without having to make them wood walls. I appreciate that So we are going to Put two doors up here. It's gonna be a very small room to start with But remember this is the first year we don't have to uh we don't have to pop off out of control right off the bat here. It took us a long time to get to uh, a level of relative safety. Uh, where we, we kind of knew what we were doing on the last episode. So construction does come before uh, mining. Oh my god, look at how much better we are at construction than mining. That took like two seconds. But it also, um, you know, is vulnerable to fire and it's, it's slightly dangerous, I suppose. To use our resources like that. I don't think in the first episode here we're going to be able to get up electricity, but we'll see. The next step is definitely like a, a workshop. Minor break risk. These colonists are in a poor mood and may have a minor break at any time. What's your problem, Mathis? Slept outside probably is a mood debuff. Hideous environment. Lacks a bionic body part. Feeling bad. Slept outside. Slept on the ground. In darkness. Ate without table. Okay, well we, we, can, um, we can mitigate this very quickly. Torch lamp. We'll get that set up. Um... Just let's put it like here for now. And then um, we're going to start making some beds. And we're just going to make, you know, wooden beds for our three colonists for now. We'll spread those out a little bit. In the future, this will probably be either our prison or our hospital. But for now, look at that. How beautiful. We have the world's worst room. Okay. Let's think about our priorities here, because, you know, it, it's good to have a good foundation. We could, of course, uh, build out this floor, and I think that would be good so the environment isn't hideous. So, uh, let's see how long that takes. It's, um... Designate rough stone terrain to be smooth. There's 55 blocks to have that done for, which is annoying, but... That's okay. And I think, you know, joy is something that I'm learning is extremely important as well. So, I think we should... 
uh, build at least a tiny dining room here. Just so that people don't have to stand while they eat. And we should put an animal sleeping box down as well. Even though 35 wood I think is a little silly here. Um, honestly, it's going to take too long to smooth out this floor. So I think I may cancel. Unless he's just building a chair right now. Yeah, I think he's building a chair. Minor break risk. NL. What's the problem, buddy? It's a little too early to be having mood problems. Night owl in the daytime. In a little pain. Slept on ground. Ate without table. Well, that table's going to be produced pretty quickly. So we don't need to worry about it. Kate's still just doing what she does. Growing some plants over here. Hey, save some of that smoke leaf for me. <laughs> Okay, so day two, we're going to have a table, we're going to have three beds, we have lights. Mathis is eating not at a, uh, not on the ground, which I think is positive. It is taking a while to smooth this stuff, I'll admit, but once it's done, hopefully that takes away the hideous environment debuff. And I know that that can be an issue, so I, I hope that we get it taken care of sooner rather than later. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to do is get a, um is get a workshop set up so we can research and, and cook and etc, etc. So, um, for now, let's look at this, by the way, behind the units, that is their mood. Which is very good, uh, very handy to have. Um, as always, we could mine a stockpile. Like, just mine through here and have our stockpile set up. I don't think it's a bad idea, it will take a while, but let's, let's order it, okay? Okay, you get off my back, jeez! Okay, we're gonna... Mine this, and let's think about it for like two seconds. Um, is this an appropriate area to have a stockpile so that we can uh, get in and out of it with some efficiency? I think so. And we'll just do it like that. And this is going to be a stockpile that um, we actually don't need to... We, sh we should leave walls up. <laughs> in order to, uh... Well, I guess we can just build it out. It doesn't take very much wood. What I'm saying is, like, we should leave some of the stone walls up so that we don't have to, uh... actually build, like, doors. But there you go. Need defenses, need meal source. Oh, I'm, I'm aware. Don't get me wrong. Let me think about this. My brain is having some problems here. We should mine the doorway and then leave the other walls open. So let's mine out like two blocks like this. All right. This should be good. Man, this... How much food do we have right now? You have no way of preparing meals from raw food. That's true, but it's not the end of the world right now. I think. Mood's very high. This episode is just about getting us started here. We can issue some orders. Um, like, for example, harvest every raspberry bush in the area to give us as much food as possible. I would expect this first winter to be pretty tough. Just like it was for the colonists, you know? The original OG Rimworlders. Well, I mean, I gotta say, it's taking us longer than I expected to, to mine this. This is gonna take like a whole day. The good news is we got a ton of granite as a result, but we may actually want to get Mathis working on a wood workshop area. As much as I hate to do it, um, because mining seems much more sensible, um, it's also much slower. So let's get a workshop going as soon as possible. Forbidding doors. I will look into that. Just do this like nine, nine. Obviously that one's gonna be eight. And then we'll put like a door here and a door here. And I think it's important to have two doors for when colonists, uh, lose their goddamn minds and decide to go berserk. At least now we have an escape route. Minor break risk NL. Probably working in darkness is my guess. Already I'm liking these quality of life improvements. Now night owl in daytime. Shared bedroom. Well, we'll, like, we will get to work on private bedrooms. Don't get me wrong. I think maybe you're also a little pissed because you're spending your days just beating the shit out of rocks. But you'll get over it, I promise. Um... Forbidding doors. You can forbid doors, so colonists and tame animals won't go through them. Okay, I'm going to leave that in the learning helper for now. Need defenses. I agree with this. Low food. That's bad. Low medicine. That's not that bad yet. Need meal source, and we've got visitors coming. 
They have a few items they want to trade. I think we should buy uh, food and medicine relatively early here. I also think, let's go to restrict and let's make it so the first two hours of the day are for joy. Mood is so important that I think this is a, a proper way to handle this. I am also going to uh, waste some wood here, putting down a floor. I know we don't have enough wood in storage. Who's got our highest social stat, by the way? I am at four. Kate is at five with desire to learn. Okay, Kate, go trade with uh, Trev here. We have 800 silver. I would love some medicine. Trader is not willing to trade this. Okay. It's a normal price to buy medicine. Well, I mean, we don't actually have low medicine. We have 24 of it. That's not bad. We could buy a, a hat for 1600 bucks. I don't think that's the case. Or I don't, I don't think that's something that I'm going to like to do. So you know what? No, no. I don't, I don't even want your medicine right now. We're going to have our own eventually. And we should uh, get the torch lamp going here right off the bat as well. One more day of mining, especially if Mathis helps out, should be enough to get uh, our stockpile started. And it's not going to be refrigerated, but that's like my next priority. Is once we get this all started, take all the shit out of our our room here, and move it into the dumping stockpile. How does hauling look? Three three. I mean, hauling should be a slightly higher priority. Um, we're gonna call this. You know what? We're gonna call this the NLSS. Even though this is not what it is, we should have called this town E three. There you go. See, so there's there's only joy available until 8 a.m. Mood is high. One colonist is idle. Kate's idle. Her growing is done. Okay. Well, Kate, congratulations. You just volunteered yourself as a hauler for now. And a low-priority constructor, I suppose. Um, I, I'm wary to give them too many jobs right off the bat. What's her mining stat like? Zero. Okay, so she will not be mining. That's fine. So this room, construction is being done. This is going to be our workshop. We just need to smooth over a little bit more of the stone flooring. It's nice, like, things are starting very slowly. But have you noticed the fact that we actually have, like, a pretty nice setup as far as our uh, mood goes? Like, everybody's happy right now. Um, so I'll let them finish construction here while I think about what furniture we want to get going. Obviously, we need a research bench. Obviously, we need a butcher's table. Which cannot fit here because of that. Um, well, that's that's a terrible use of space, but that's okay. Um, obviously, we need a... You know I'm thinking that an electric stove is probably much more sensible. But I know we need to build at least one... Oh, they both require steel, so let's just use an electric stove. That seems fine by me right off the bat. And we will build chairs for these as well. I don't think my boy me is going to get this stockpile done today, by the way, which is very disappointing. I also don't think we're going to be able to store everything in our stockpile, but so be it. Time will tell. We're getting these floors done. This, will, this won't be a hideous environment in all likelihood for too much longer. Thank you, Mattis, for your help. Okay, now, Kate, your next job is to grab all this and haul it out of here. Stop with the hideous environment. Mad animal, a local rat, has gone mad. Unfortunately, I think that's exactly where our stockpile is. So I need you to, to stop doing what you're doing and, and basically cower. You guys are drafted. It's just a rat. But still, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know? It's dead already. Okay, that's dope. You guys are undrafted. You're also undrafted. Go back to hauling, please. Hauling rat to dumping stockpile. We'll, we'll get our stockpile priorities set later. Low food, you have zero bars of food in storage. Keyword there is in storage. We have more than zero bars of food. Hauling granite chunks. Beautiful. We have more than zero bars of food. It's just most of it happens to be... Uh, all of it happens to be outside. We don't have a ton of food, by the way. But we, we got some. So, early priorities for uh, our next 
setup or for our next video because we are getting close to the end of this one early solar panel uh, and then probably it is it's not even the summer yet but we should probably get our freezer set up sooner rather than later I recognize this is very inefficient but we do want the dumping stockpile zone out of our base as, as far as possible and I'm hoping like it's it's gonna be fairly cool in there it's like the same temperature right now but that's okay all right for now everyone's good moods good wealth <laughs> It's not really changing too much. Um, and mood is in the 60s. It, like, enjoy that. That's not going to last forever. But it's it's doing great for now. I think if I could do this over again, I probably would have just made like a... Well, I don't know. Because here's the thing. It's going to be slower to get an indoor stockpile. And it's not even frozen. So it's kind of... It might seem like a waste. But I think it's one of those things where you just want to make sure you're starting off on the right foot, right? Like, why why waste time in six weeks building a stockpile if we could just build one now? And we're not even really building it. We're just creating one out of the environment. And I, I also feel the same way about getting these chunks out of here. Everything, it's like Maslow's hierarchy of needs to some extent applies here. Um, we definitely want mood to be taken care of. It's like food. Well, let's put it this way. Injuries at the top, then food, then mood. And then everything else. Like, forward progress is below that. And I've made that mistake in the past of not... Um, of not following through with that. Okay, so we're just gonna set up... I like two doors now. People have told me two doors is better for, um... Productivity's sake. Or, or efficiency's sake. We're gonna say no chunks are allowed in here. Which means that we want, uh... All of this to be hauled as well. I will say that for Kate's, um... Hauling and growing... Okay, they are on the same level. That's good. One colonist idle. I am idle. What's what's my problem? Y you cannot haul. Okay. Well, you should work on construction then. You don't have enough wood? Okay, then you should work on plant cutting. You cannot. We need wood to build these next... Um, to build these next things here. So, we should issue a plant cut order. Man, it's like a whole new world. Actually understanding why things are not getting done. But we still need something for me to do. And I can't clean either. Um, well... Uh, why not why not do some hunting, I guess? What's your cooking stat like, me? You're an eight? Are you our are you a primary chef? Yeah, you're a primary chef. Um I mean you could start to hunt some animals and you will be our butcher as well. I don't think you should hunt this timber wolf, but Sure, for now, hunting Just me. And we'll have you hunt this turtle. And I hate to do it, because you know the tur they're turtles, man. But we might as well hunt them. Although we have no freezer to store this meat in yet. And we have no... You know what? Cancel this. Cancel this for now. I, I need to find something better to do. We could start mining out a... Um, our next area. But I don't know what our next area is going to be. But it's better to handle this now. Oh, you know what? Just mine out these... Uh, ship chunks. That should give me something to do. And Mathis is going to go for that, too. Is that really what I want Mathis doing right now? Honestly, no. Mathis... This is... By the way, I recognize this is not way the, not the right way to micromanage. But it is the way I'm going to handle this for now. Just because while I have three colonists... Construction is higher than plant... Well, I have three colonists, I actually have the ability to... Um, to prioritize and tell them what to do. So I'm going to do so. We want this research bench done. And Kate is going to... No, no, don't... I mean, you don't really need to bother storing it. I know hauling is a higher priority for her right now than construction, I think, but... That's alright. This wood is important. Put the wood in the base. Then I'm going to take this wood and make a simple research bench. Okay, that's good. And we're also going to finish uh, our... Oh my god, we failed. <laughs> Wanderer joins. A villager named Cami has joined. She is a medieval lord. Alright, let's look at her character sheet here. Good at artistic. Wow, great at shooting. Great at melee. Great at social. Great at animals. She is a... Well, she was a pyromaniac. Incapable of firefighting. Incapable of dumb or skilled labor. She's jealous and a cold lover. Well. Welcome, welcome to the party, Cammy. Uh, I suppose that we should get a wooden bed done as soon as possible. And it is... She came at 3 p.m. 
So it's conceivable that today she will... Ooh, that's our time for right now. It's conceivable that she'll be able to get a sleep in tonight. I hope, at least. Okay, we're, we're training. We're feeding berries to the animals, which I'm not necessarily a huge fan of. Welcome to the party, Cammie. Um, how's everybody doing mood-wise? Cammie's not that happy. That's because she's not part of our utopia yet. Kate's eating some berries. We still have a few berries... I would just love these last two chunks to get out of here. Oh, two colonists idle and need research project. Okay, I got distracted. First research project, we're going to do stone cutting, but we're going to work on turrets very soon after that. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. That's very simple. Cammy is going to take a gun, and she's going to take Mathis's gun, but we'll wait on that momentarily. And two colonists idle. We have to reprioritize work. Okay, next episode, we are going to um, get our solar panel up, Hopefully build a freezer, and then we'll see where the world takes us after that. We should have our first raid as well. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first rebooted episode of uh, Alpha 15 Rimworld Colony. If you have, click the like button. helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.